air signs. It's Nicola. Let's see what messages we have. This is for February the 19th, 2020. What messages, what guidance do we have for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for February the 19th, 2020. What guidance do we have for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What messages, what guidance do we have? All right, so we got three. Gemini, we have Angel of Addiction Healing. It says this is a time of positive transformation and healing. We also have God of Reflections. It says the qualities you see in others are simply your own reflection. And we have Goddess of the Earth. It says an idea connected to imagination, creativity, and nature is coming your way. All right, so let's see what messages we have for Libra. All right, Libra, we have Goddess of Beauty. It says you are a wondrous being of light. There is nothing to change or fix. All right, so let's see what messages we have for Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising. All right, Aquarius. We have Angel of Guidance. It says a renewed sense of direction and purpose will soon manifest. The underlying message for all of my air signs is Angel of New Life. It says an exciting new chapter in your life is about to unfold. Let me make sure I have all my stuff, all my ducks in a row here. Okay. So let's see what guidance we have. Whoa. Almost dropped the cards. What, got, what messages do we have? This is for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What messages, what guidance do we have? For Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I thought they were upside down. This is for February the 19th, 2020. What messages, what guidance do we have? For Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Messages, guidance for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Ooh, Eight of Cups. Somebody walked away. Underline energy. So somebody walked away from something that they could have been holding on to, could have created a firm foundation by moving away from some temporary things and moving toward true happiness for self. All right, so three of wands here. I do feel like for some of you guys, you're very much in the space of establishing your strength, really creating some new avenues for yourself. The three of wands here talks about creating new passions. You could be creating something new in general for yourself. Could be manifesting some new ships in. Three of cups here. Whoa. So some of you guys, this could have to do, could have had to do with a third party. You could have had a lot of patience with someone, but you're in a space of walking away. Ace of swords, having the clarity that is necessary here. High Priestess here. Yeah, some of you guys are trusting your own intuition. 333. So someone is in alignment with walking away from a situation or in alignment with going toward their happiness. We're going to say that. Could be um, dealing with a lot of people. Could have been dealing with a lot of people. feel like you're on your way to happiness true happiness so let's see here we got the three of wands here why is this three of wands here and i get multiple threes and threes represent to me well to everyone it should represent creativity putting things in motion and three threes is about being in alignment with that so you're in alignment with putting things in motion for yourself trusting your own intuition why is this three of wands here god damn it another three look at here so I do think you're creating some new things for yourself. Three of Wands here, Three of Cups here, Five Cups, Eight. So this is Eight Cups. Some of you guys are walking away. I feel like you're walking away from either a third party situation, a friends with benefits situation, a friendship. Like could be walking away from a friendship, from a social situation. Whatever it is, you're walking away and you're no longer in a space of cooperating. You're trusting your own intuition. I feel like you're putting some things in motion for yourself, working on your own abundance here, working on your own pentacles, okay? With the Knight of Cups here, I do feel like you're balancing your emotions, Ten of Swords, embracing the end of a difficult situation. Some of you guys have had a lot of patience, but now, again, you're establishing your strength and you're creating something new for yourself. Three of Cups here in the past energy. Ace of Pentacles here with the Queen of Cups and the Two of Wands. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you are at a crossroads here about a new opportunity. Ace of Swords, King of Swords, Magician shit so someone is taking action on a decision that they've made um the king of swords takes action on his thoughts so someone has been thinking about a lot and now they're deciding to take action ace of swords here twice ace of pentacles here um with the queen of cups like i'm telling you someone is in the space of i feel like someone was at a crossroads and they're choosing 
444 on my clock. I feel like someone was at a crossroads and they're choosing to be in alignment with their own abundance or with their own happiness. Someone is creating happiness for themselves by going into their own dominion, meaning they're going into someone's going into a new type of ascension. And last yesterday I had personal ascension for the earth signs. And I don't see an earth sign here. But I'm just saying that's what I had for the earth signs. So if you got that in your chart, you could definitely be going through an ascension and really seeing clearly that you're needing to move forward in your life on a new path. With the ace of swords and the surrounding energy, we have the five of cups. Some of you guys see or have clarity around some regrets, but king of swords here. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you have clarity and regret around not making a decision or not cutting away. King of swords cuts away bullshit basically so some of you guys you were dealing with a cooperation um for some of you guys this could have been being a team player like working with someone could have been something that you know you agreed to previously and now you're just like i i don't fucking agree with this no more so someone is in a space of regretting not making a decision there's some clarity around that could also be some clarity dealing with some disappointments around a partnership with the strength here and the six of wands someone's finding the strength to move forward I keep saying the same thing over and over again. <laughs> okay. So High Priestess here. Um, high Priestess is Cancer. Also can be um, Taurus because the moon, Taurus is exalted by the moon and the High Priestess is directly connected to the moon. So for a lot of you guys, I feel like with this High Priestess, you're knowing, you're trusting your intuition, you're knowing what you're building. Somebody said the other day, they hate that I put Taurus in every reading. I don't put Taurus in every reading, but if I see it, I call it. So I'm sorry. Um, but with this high priestess here, I feel like you're trusting your own intuition, especially with it being in your subconscious here. Eight of Pentacles here. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're working on your own independence, working on securing yourself, moving away from five Pentacles, which is a lack situation. Some of you guys see clearly that a relationship was imbalanced or something was imbalanced. You're trusting your beliefs in regards to what you're moving away from. And I think for yesterday, I said for you guys, you may not know what you want, but you're definitely in a space of seeing what you don't want. So some of you guys have a lot of clarity and you're seeing what you don't want and you're walking the fuck away from that. So three of pentacles here in the, as the outcome, why is this three of pentacles here? Seven of swords. So some of you guys, I feel like you were dealing with an unstable connection, an unstable cooperation. I feel like now you're putting things in motion for yourself. Two pentacles with that three pentacles. That was a lack situation. So some of you guys either was dealing with a situation that was lack within money, like um, maybe you were struggling and you're walking away from a situation that you were struggling in, whether it be a job, a relationship, a marriage, a friendship, it doesn't matter. You're walking away from that. For others of you, that five of pentacles can represent lack, like someone feeling left out in the cold, um, especially if there was some deception around a situation. Someone could be in a space of wanting to kind of put things in motion so they can escape that. For others of you, you could have been just feeling very imbalanced and unstable, and now you're putting things in motion to create that balance for yourself. Tower here by releasing this partnership. Um, five of Wands here, you could also be releasing other people that create conflict within your life, like I'm telling you. Deceptive situation, people that are envious of you, um, and you could be noticing that. You could be in a space of releasing that, not, in the, not dealing with the bullshit. So I definitely feel like you're in alignment with moving toward true happiness for yourself by cutting away what does not make you happy that's listen that's how we manifest prosperity abundance and joy and happiness within our life by cutting away the things that don't make us happy and creating room for that so for a lot of you guys you're starting to see that it's like the light bulb went off this doesn't make me happy so if i want to be happy i gotta get the fuck away from this and i dropped the cards y'all i can't even bend down there my legs hurt so bad All right, so let's see what messages we have. What guidance do we have for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Moving forward. Y'all, my legs. <laughs> what messages, what guidance do we have? They, nah, when I get up in the morning, they're fine. Like, I guess because I've rested through the night. But once I get into the position of working and I'm sitting down for so long, my legs feel like they are like just deteriorating it is horrible <laughs> so i'm gonna get up and stretch in a minute and then i'll come back and finish the rest of these videos i might even stretch after each video so this is for gemini libra and aquarius sun moon rising venus moving forward give me guidance for gemini god damn it Bye. 
y'all. I'm sorry. I'm glad it's black back there for y'all. Don't be seeing that booty. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so we got sun here. I feel like Gemini, you're starting to see things clearly. I can see clearly now. The rain has gone. All right, let me stop. Yeah, especially with the. Uh, oh, I thought that was a revelation. So I feel like it's for some of you guys. With special with time under there, it might be time for you to be happy, and you're seeing that. So you're moving away from things that don't make you happy. What messages do we have for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? <laughs> it's like, please don't go nowhere. Secrets, reverence here. So some of you guys, this is about some things that are hidden, some illusions. I feel like for some of you guys, you could have adapted to not seeing the truth of a situation, but secrets about to be exposed. Um, ooh, for Libra, I think the weekly read was Secret Lovers. Secret lovers, and some of y'all got a secret lover because y'all finna gain y'all independence and go toward the one that you truly want. Okay, what messages do we have for Aquarius? Some moon rising in Venus. What messages for guidance do we have for Aquarius? Some moon rising and Venus. Moving forward, messages for Aquarius. Some moon rising. All right, Aquarius, we got pro romantic love. Ooh. Ooh, so some of y'all this could have to do with a romantic relationship Aquarius I feel like you need to take some wise leadership for all of mm. so some of you guys because under here I got the past so you could have a past lover that is coming back you're very much in the space I feel like of walking away from that um, really seeing again what you want and moving away from things that you do not want with wise leadership in the past some of you guys need to take the knowledge that you've obtained from past situations in order to make a logical decision now moving forward. This is all I have. Until next time, y'all. Peace. Uh, there we go.